Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to look at the steps to create a bootable USB flash drive to install Windows 11. These instructions are meant to create a USB bootable media using an ISO file and a Rufus tool. You can also build an installation media using the media creation tool, but this won't be available until the final release of Windows 11. So here is how to create a bootable Windows 11 preview USB flash drive. First, you will need to download the ISO file for the latest version of Windows 11 available through the Windows Insider program. I will be leaving a link in the video description to the video on how to do this process. Then you also need to download the Rufus tool, which is the easiest way that you can use to create a USB bootable media. I will also be leaving this link in the video description so you can download the latest version. Once you have the two components, now we can proceed to create that USB flash drive to install Windows 11. First, open the Rufus tool. And now it's a good time to connect the USB flash drive with enough space to store the files. That could be either an 8 gigabyte flash drive or anything larger than that. In this example, I have a 16 gig on the computer. Then click the select button and locate the folder that includes the ISO file for Windows 11. For image option, just use the standard Windows installation. For partition scheme, just leave the GPT option. And for target system, use the UEFI option. Here, just confirm a label. For file system, just leave the default and the same for the cluster size. Use the quick format and this option to leave it checked. There are also some advanced properties, but you don't need to configure any of those settings. Once you're ready, click the start button. Then confirm that any data that resides inside of the USB flash drive is going to be raised to create the bootable media. So if you have any important data, it is best to back it up before proceeding and then click the OK button. After the process, you might get this message, but for Windows 11, I don't know how it actually applies because it says that you must disable secure boot to, to use it. And Windows 11 actually requires a secure boot. So just try it without disabling it. And if it doesn't work, try to disable secure boot in order to proceed with installation. So to test it out, I'm just going to close this and I'm going to restart the computer and we're going to test if the USB flash drive boots up. And as you can see, we booted up from the USB flash drive. So I'm just going to go through some of the steps to make sure that this process works. And apparently it does work. I'm just going to cancel this installation because in this computer I already have a different installation. And that is all there is to it. That's the easiest way that you can create a USB bootable media with the latest preview of Windows 11 to do a clean installation on a spare computer or in a virtual machine. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.